So uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, you knew it was fishy with TJ wow. when he immediately relinquished the Bantamweight uh, belt before anything came out. He stepped aside. That did not look good. He has tested positive. Matt, uh, for EPO, which is, uh, I, as, as an... Uh, as a fighter, you know that there's no way to accidentally get this into your system. Unless I, they tainted supplement of heroin. No, wait, don't they? Shooting. It doesn't, you don't, don't you have to shoot this? Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. What did uh, Jeff... Novitsky. Yes, what did he say about it, Chris, he, the producer? He, I'll tell you what he said. Oh, Jimmy, why don't you... All right. He said, I'm quite familiar with EPO. Okay. From my days investigating professional cycling teams, it's a very effective substance. It's not a substance you find in contaminated supplements. It's injectable only. You have to know what you're doing when it enters your system. On a scale of seriousness and anti-doping, it's up near the top. It's very, very bad for TJ. Oh, now, this uh, Disgusting is what it is. Though, you can't just say it's very bad. It's downright disgusting. I mean, I mean, for his legacy, it's it's oh, devastating. It's, oh, it's what legacy? Yeah, what fucking legacy? What would he, we don't know what he could have done if the playing field was uh, even, you know, on a leveled uh, playing field. Well, they got to go well, back and test his old sample skills. Like Cody, Cody has a legitimate fucking gripe. Of dude, I really feel for Cody. I do, I do, man. Because that first and that first one. He heard him too. He almost took him out. That's right. Maybe right. that slight edge was because he's a fucking cheater. And I like listen, you know I never had a problem with that yeah, kid. Yeah, I always like And I too. always got along with Dwayne. But hey man, this this is just foul. This is just as a guy that I mean, who knows? I fought before the days of Usada, so I'm sure I fought guys that were on something. Or maybe I didn't. Well, maybe every time I lost somebody was on. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but the thing is I'd never know. But now you'd know. If I absolutely knew. Somebody I fought and uh, put me out or something. I only got stopped twice. So I don't want to really. Yeah, of course not. You know. And, and, I, and I never tapped. But you could, you know, listen, I don't knock on anybody that tapped. Sure. I'm very proud of my fighting Should career. Be. But listen to me. This is fucking bullshit, man. This is disgusting. I can't say it enough. Everybody that got stopped by him should be just furious. And at the same time, look at yourself and say, all right. Now it makes sense. Did you now see? Now it makes fucking sense. Matt, did you see some of the statements? Could you bring that one statement what? up? Yeah. From uh, Sam Calvita. Uh, Sam Calvita is his, I mean, who's he just talked endlessly about his strength conditioning coach at the yeah. training lab and all this oh, stuff. Shit. I'm not going to read all those. It's too long, it's but long. it's very funny how. What did he say? I'll tell you. He made it very flowery. He said, and I'll read just the first paragraph. It is with a heavy heart that I, Coach Cal, oh, the owner, founder, and purveyor of the training lab, have recently seen the defeat of one of our family members in recent months. This defeat is not due to the skills and combat savvy of an opponent of flesh, but rather a defeat at the perilous hands of a far more sinister foe, the demon of self-doubt, which haunts each and every one of us at one time or another in our lives. Look. Stop with this shit. What is that? He I fucking see. cheated and got caught. Very passionate belief. We all have what? self-doubt. Believe me. If I, if you could get popped in life for Cialis, I'm a class A cheater because of my self-doubt. <laughs> right. He cheated. Right. You don't have to be so flowery. Well, what I'm the fuck bemused. is he saying? I'm confused. He's saying he... basically can, can somebody give me the I'm the boy. Term? Okay, go back, I'll read it again. Yeah. Well no, no, he, but no, I'm no, 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 I'm the boss. TJ is out. He didn't get beaten by a guy, but because he was afraid of losing, he cheated. That's it. That's what he said in the whole thing? In a way, that's that. basically it. He said, as a man of few words, preferring passion and belief as a shield to be carried out upon. <laughs> what is he fucking I'm bemused for, to careless and reckless dialogue. <laughs> what is he, Sammy Sam? What the fuck are you Sam. talking about, Sam? I get it. He's your guy. You love him. But come on. The reality is you don't have to be flowery about it. It sucks for him. Because again, he he wanted to win, but he fucking he cheated. <sighs> Come on, I know that's thing. Dwayne Ludwig again, a guy I like a lot. Oh, what is? Can we read his quote? Oh, what did he say? At least he didn't go over the top. Oh, what did he say? No, no, it made perfect I'd like sense. To hear that it made perfect sense what he said. I'd love to hear what he said because that's yeah. that's his. Yeah, I'll I, tell you. I'm what not he, saying I'll, claim the fame because he fought also, but that's his guy. That's what really. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. This made perfect sense. Yeah, right, let's see. What, let's see what he says. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. Oh, well, now. Yeah, at least he didn't he didn't go over the top and melodramatic, which I appreciated. It made perfect sense what he said. Here's his statement. What? Uh, okay. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Don't, Sta don't break up the rhythm. 
All right. This I is the thing. Chris would have had this right here, but no. I, thought you, I thought you had. Wow, it. Oh, no, Daddy does not have. Now look at TJ's them. abs. I can't even look at him and be like, oh, he has good abs. Because now I'm thinking he. All right, here's what he said. I'll find it. Right here's what he said. He is not the first normal. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can you read it like a normal person? No, but these are they're dramatic. I have to read no, it. No, but you sound like an old army general That's or something. That's exactly shit. how they're writing it. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. He's not the first, nor will he be the last. But yes, it is inexcusable. People make mistakes, but he's still my ninja. And then he hashtags, still my ninja, Killershaw. And then he quotes, this is a very appropriate quote. He that is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone, and then he puts the author of that quote, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, we, you went right for JC, did you? My God. I mean, let me think of both quotes. Let me just be mature about it. TJ this may me, not me, get to the mountaintop with you. Let's think about it. Let's think about what we really think. Here's what he's saying. No, this is what I say. Fucking boo, these guys. No, these quotes are important. No, oh, they're fucking horrible. TJ Dillashaw had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need the dramatics. Dude, it's fucking, dude. No, I mean, and he's, he's still my ninja. Get out of here with that. It's really crazy, Listen. too, man. I, I'm a huge, I mean, you know, whatever. I'm maybe talking the past tense was a huge CJ Dillashaw fan, but I, I loved watching the guy fight. His style was so exciting. What would have happened if he won the flyway title? And then all this comes out. It's because it was going to come out. It's Listen, he cheated. He This is... I, like any other sport, people are like, oh, he cheated with baseball. They did something with them. Now he's hitting the ball harder. You're hitting somebody's face harder. Yeah. You're rattling around their brains. It is, it is, it's like assault. I know that sounds weird, but it's not fair, man. Yeah, I agree. It's not fair to make yourself more powerful or that you do not get tired. And the other guy is getting tired because as a human being, you, you can only put out so much, you get a little tired. So, I mean, this guy's recovering faster to do you bodily. The goal is to take you out. How is the guy going to tap? You get about to break a joint, and it's like wearing brass knuckles, or you're just beating. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit, man. I don't mean I would if if he's. When the guy gets pinched like this, I, I'm up for a lifelong ban and a big fuck you and a fine, Jimmy. Because this was such a serious fine. I mean, To me, it is. Yeah. Fuck, if I got my... I mean, listen, you get... And not only that, like Cody, Cody Garbrandt, I mean, who knows what that takes out of the rest of his career? How about that, TJ? How about that? What does it take out of this kid's career that he gets stopped twice by a fucking cheater? What does it get take... What, I mean, who knows? How, it might... He might not have, not have as long as a career, yeah. so he not have, might not have any as many options to make the money that he would have made. It sounds that sounds dramatic, no, that's but that's the fucking truth no. of it. So fuck you, man, TJ. I'm mad, dude. Yeah. I, now I'm in a bad mood. Why? Well, here, do you want to hear back, some of Cody's Let me look tweets? at this. Well, Cody, like. Cody yeah. didn't <laughs> seem upset by it. No, it's fucking <laughs> Cody. What? Co Cody, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> I knew Matt didn't read the tweets. I didn't read any. I'm not on Twitter. Co Cody tweeted, test all his samples. I bet for a fact more EPO pops up. TJ Dillashaw's a coward. TJ, call me when that suspension is up, scumbag. By the way, good, what was good. his quote? No, no, but what was his tweet whenever the, uh, was it this before the second fight where he referenced EPO? Yeah, uh, I, I can get that quote. Essentially, he says in a... EPO is going to your brain or something. Yeah, they were going back and forth, and Cody says to him, yeah, I bet it's all that EPO running through your brain or whatever, you uh, know, before the second fight. Did TJ was. respond to that tweet? Um, probably. The, those those have been deleted. I went to TJ's site to see it. I guess they were just screenshots that people had, but, um, you know, yeah, I mean, they were going back and forth, and he said it, I think, even at one of the press conferences. Uh, Cody accused him, like when they were kind of face-to-face. -face. So he's been talking about it a long time, and it turns out that he... Yeah, so Cody obviously knew what he was talking about. Yeah. I guess that I guess in that world with you sure. fighters, there's these the rumors that everybody knows is true. Like, but you maybe you've never seen him do it, but like everyone talks about it, you know. Like, it's probably one of those things where the guys on the inside just know. You who's know doing what? It. No, nobody's gonna talk about what all this shit is. The after parties that like the last after party that Cody had to go to when right. everybody's like, oh man, you right. know, everybody's feeling bad for him. Every dude, he got cheated. You can't no now. Two years, this guy's sitting on the sidelines after all the money he made and everything else like that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna make that better. What, Jimmy? <laughs> you want some more of my gluten-free snacks, Jimmy? Go ahead. Well, Matt, can I just say that? Sorry, just, everybody. Just what? to be clear, though, it's like, 
yes, we can infer that TJ was stop, using EPO Stop what you're this. saying right there. Stop yeah, what you're yeah. saying. Because you know, this is what you're going to say. You don't like the lawyer, Chris? No, no, no. This is what Chris is saying. No, no, well, no, no. There's, listen, he might have passed those tests. Hey, dude, I don't give a shit. No, I agree. You I get caught you. once doing something like this is blatant. Yes. This isn't a fucking cock pill. This, this is, is this not is, John this Jones. Is, That's what, no. You know, it's like it's John a totally Jones is thing. always going to be... It, you can't say that could really tarnish him because you could be like, hey, man, I don't, you know, right. it, there's, there's, there's doubt there. You know what I mean? This one, you know, here's what Jeff said. He, he not, said there's no way this is an accidental fucking um, taking the wrong supplement. It's injectable. They only. should go back and, and test disc- those samples. And you know they can. They yeah. should. Yeah, but obviously, you know, people know how to beat the system sometimes. And that, I mean, the fact that he got popped and it's he's not even twice to on two it. tests. What's that? It was on two tests. Yeah. This was You're January 18th in- and December 28th or 29th, am I correct? Correct, because they they didn't show up in the fir- in the December 28th test because they don't test for this in every test, I, but they do test for it and when they went back they found it on December 28th. I wouldn't give any value to any victories this fucking kid has. How about that? Fuck him. I'm I'm not happy with it. As a guy that used to fight, as a guy that's has like as as fighters that are like I'm very close with, right? Like you know what I'm saying? Like like if if he put one of my guys, I'd, I'd be even more like like I mean it's upsetting. I, I love. I mean Cody's a nice kid, you know what I mean? But if it's like a guy that I'm really close to sure. or so, I'll be like, dude, this fucking this is this is this is it's it's just disgusting. I can't think of a worse word. It's fucking. It's just it's inexcusable. It's just good. Take two years. You made plenty of money. Go ahead. Relax a little bit. Come back and say, oh, that's the only time you ever did it. And uh, whoever believes you is a dumbass. And Cody, and by the way, Cody uh, was replied to by uh, Conor McGregor replied to him on Twitter. He said, respect, Cody. The loyalty you showed for Uriah and your team on that faithful day in the Ultimate Fighter gym will forever stand out to me. Enjoy this moment and these return victories to you, clean and unbeaten. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, w- would you guys consider this? I mean, considering TJ on the on the pound for pound list, he's fighting for two titles. Everybody's considering him after he he beats Cody for the second time. Everybody's saying this guy is really yeah. one of the best ever, maybe the best bantamweight ever. Is this the worst in terms of damaging someone's legacy that we've seen so far? In this I can't summer? I can't think of another bust yeah. that has been more like wipe the slate clean, fucked up. Right. Except, yeah. I mean, there's that Russian fighter heavyweight who was just suspended for life because he had failed five tests and refused to take a test. Of I don't even remember his name. <laughs> yeah, Ruslan uh, Magomedov, I believe. His yeah, name is. but yeah. I mean, like, he's not the name or he's not a champion. No. TJ, uh, it, like, what was TJ? You know, Dwayne, Dwayne Ludwig put putting in the head Barrow. Uh, uh, no, I thought of that. Yeah, man. Dude, I mean, uh, he put these guys' lights out and he, and he looked on a different level. You know what I mean? Everybody's saying, "Oh my goodness, look at he looks at a different level," and uh, he's just he's head and look at it, he, he and his shoulders above everybody else. Look at him and look at what he did to Cody and dude. It's not it's not fair, man. It's not fair to these guys. It's not fair to their families. These guys, not only the injuries, what about the mental damage? What about getting embarrassed in front of all your families and friends right. after the lead up, after the trash talk? You're letting down your oh, you you're carrying. What about poor team alpha male, man? You know, oh, you're carrying the flag for them. You oh, you feel you let your team down. You hey Cody, you didn't let nobody down. This fucking guy cheated. He owes the world an apology. Where is he? Where's the fucking sorry? No. It'll Where be, is he? They'll come out. They, they, I think he's just one of those. Now it's like, what oh. do you do? He, he has to make a statement. He has to. By the way, uh, we were talking before the show. Chris raised a good point, which I wanted to steal as my own, but he's here. <laughs> was that you could see how he did not lose well either, TJ. Like, when, like even this loss to Cejudo, he's like, no, you didn't beat me. You didn't beat me. Like, you know. Right. And the Cruz loss he refused. And again, I really am a, a huge fan of TJ Dillashaw's. And so it's, it's really well, you, hard Yeah, you to like him more this. now. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I like when people uh, so try to get the advantage. How much I like them. Ready? Oh, uh, like what do you do? Like a child, oh, like, no. a seven, like a seventh uh, grader. But right, but that's the truth. I mean, after I the Cruz fight, I'm he refused disgusted. to um, accept that he lost that fight. He always said he won that fight. He he refused to accept that he lost to Sudo. It was robbed from him. Which there's an argument there, but I'm but you see one. it and you go, man. Now you couple that with the fact that he failed this test, and you go, what he, exactly does side. this do? I know it does something with re- oh. your red blood cells. What exactly does it? How does it help you? I heard it makes it like you don't get tired, right? That, that, is that what that, happens? That's the biggest. I mean, I was reading a little bit about it. Yes, that that probably is the biggest benefit. It's not like a. Um, Should I take it? 
Yeah, you. I mean, I'm sure you like, could. And then just go do regular workouts. How would it fuck me up? I, I don't. I mean, other than like whatever the, the, the side effects are right. of it. I mean, I, what it, are they? That I don't know. That I haven't looked into. But yes, it's a conditioning. It's a cardio. And that's a thing that TJ was known for, which is really, uh, it's crazy you know, when you start thinking about it. Endurance is such a huge part of this fucking thing, of this mm-hmm. game. So if you're not getting tired, that's going to, that's going to, that's going to dictate how you fight. There's a, you know, there's a reason why guys, some guys don't go for takedowns. They're afraid of getting tired or a failed right. takedown is going to be like, oh man, if you know you're not getting tired, why the fuck not? Sure. 